And so I asked um, TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I was like, I've been doing this podcast for two years now. And I just show up and I talk about what I've observed um, from the community, what I hear people talking about, and then the experiences I go through. And, you know, we're on here to just give a real glimpse, not even real glimpse, a, gr- a real insight to what it's like to live as a woman after God's own heart, because this walk is rough and we need to know that we are not alone. We need to hear other people's experiences. I I know we are set free by the word of our testimony. So I come on here and I tell my business because I know somebody else is likely going through what I'm going through or will experience or have the same thoughts that I'm having. And so I want to come and share and be a vessel. And so I want to make sure that I include all vessels of God, right? And so I want to know what it is that you want to talk about, what discussions you want to hear, what questions you may have about your own life or your own walk, no matter where you are in it, I, we want to talk about it. And and if I don't have the answers myself, I will definitely, as I've been, go and find someone who does have the answers, right? And so I asked TikTok and we got a question, Um, So this question, it says where and it goes into what we just finished talking about, about sisterhood and and getting connected with people who have a deep reverence for God. And so it says, where are all the older mothers in the church full of wisdom to encourage and teach younger women how to be a wife and et cetera? She's like, where are all the elders that you're supposed to be going to? Like it talks in uh, talks about in Second Timothy that we're supposed to be going to and getting this wisdom from teaching us how to be a wife, teaching us how to be, you know, women of stature, women of virtue and all that. Where are these women in the church? She asks. And um, that is a good question. I would say it depends on, I think they're present. They're there. It's just up to you to, you know, reach out because we're in an era where elderly people are not really respected. And so, and I think they know that. I think they know that because we're we're a generation where we know everything. We don't want nobody to tell us what to do. We hot girl popping and all that stuff. And so that that you need to, you know, put that stigma in your mind when it comes to connecting with other people but also know it it takes two and so if you see somebody in your church that you are like oh they live in life i see she's a true woman of god let me go reach out to her and ask her if she's willing to um take me on her wing and i'm gonna be blatant really honest i didn't even know the importance of doing stuff like this until last week when um my stepmom was talking to me about it now, I know the importance of connecting with, you know, other like-minded women, but going to an elder and seeking them for, for wisdom and asking them to, you know, um, pretty much mentor you, if that makes sense. That's what, yeah, pretty much mentor you. And um, so, yeah, I think they're present. You just got to be willing to go and ask or or have a discussion about it with your pastor say, I need this. And, and how can I get there? That's another thing. I said, mom told me to go to the pastor and say, ask, where is this? How can I get this? And if, if you notice that in your church, there's nobody present, maybe you need to go to another church. Maybe you need to switch churches, go somewhere else and find what you need. Maybe there's somebody in your family that, that is a, a, a bold woman of God. Or someone in extended family. But I think they're there. I do believe that they are there. It just takes two in that relationship to go after it and find it. Because their perception of our generation might be that we don't want nobody in our business. And our perception is of them is that they are strict, rude, and and don't and and don't really understand us and da 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 and so there just has to be some communication but i think they're present i know that there are some in the church that i go to probably a lot not some a lot um but yeah i think they're present and i do have a uh 
episode is called Church Mothers with my stepmom, where we're talking about the importance of um, finding someone at church. And and also we talk about church hurt that other women and she herself has experienced from elders in her church, in her time growing up, becoming a woman, becoming the woman of God that she is now. And so I, I encourage you, I'm a pin it up here, but I encourage you to go and listen to that. It's called Church Mothers, and it's really um, good. Anybody who also is pondering that question, where are all the mothers of the church at? I think they're present. I think they are present. We just got to, you know, open up that communication and find them. And if they're not in our church and that's what you really need, maybe you need to hop churches and find Go get what you need. It's present. Ask Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, lead me to where I can find a woman of God that I can glean from. And he might lead you to somebody in a restaurant. He might lead you to somebody in a grocery store. He might lead you to somebody on your job. You know, you never know. You just got to be willing to ask. Ask and you shall receive. You have not because you ask not. (laughs) I just had to say that scripture. I love that scripture. Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it empowered you and supported you in any type of way, I need you to go back and like the video if you did not. And subscribe to my YouTube channel so that we can stay connected. This is also a way for you to support my mission and vision to empower, uplift, and equip our sisters. Also, I want to invite you to to join us at the Purpose Place on the Geneva app. It's a community for us to connect every single day, sharing ideas, uplifting, and encouraging each other. It's always great to be connected to like-mindedness. So if you decide to join us, girl, I will see you over there.